Yo, what up, team? Welcome back to J3 Entertainment. You guys already know what time it is. It's time for another Fist of Cuffs reaction. Hell yeah. Yeah. We're reacting to the day. Warrior, episode five, the blood and the shit. The shit. You'll be knee deep in the shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, I said last video, man, uh, these titles sound like we're going to get a big message at the end. Always. When you put them all together. Yeah. You know, the last one was the, the White Mountain. You yep. know what I'm saying? He climbed that thing, you know. So Facts. it's going. It's it's one hell of a journey, man. You know. Uh, and we're gonna see some blood, yeah. <laughs> and we're gonna see the shit. <laughs> it's, it's coming. I, I, I want to see because now we five episodes in. Yeah. You know the five episode rule. Yes. This this basically defines how the series is gonna go. Yeah. You know what I mean? And every episode has hit one hundred percent. So this is this is very interesting seeing how this goes and plays out. Um, I'm excited, man. Are you ready to get into the reaction? I'm ready, bro. Let's go and get these headphones on. Yeah. Man. Boards don't hit back. All right, man. We're going to start this thing right now. Great scenery. Yeah. It's always someone new. I love it. All right. When we agreed to take the litter coach, no one said anything about writing with Chinamen. Aren't there laws against this? You're not in the city now, darling. There are no laws here. We shouldn't even be allowed to buy tickets. Damn. It's a well-known fact that they carry diseases, for God's sake. Keep your voice down, dear. It's not like they can understand me. <laughs> Dark. I mean, God, the smell alone. Let's not forget our Christian hospitality. You shall treat the stranger that sojourns with you as the native among you, and love them as you love yourself. Leviticus 1933. Padre, if I wanted to hear a sermon, I'd probably be in church now, wouldn't I? And you'd be where we got a hateful eight episode. Mm -hmm. As with these two young fellas, there's room for everyone in God's kingdom. Have you boys considered committing your souls to our Lord and Savior? <laughs> Business must be pretty slow up in heaven. They got you out hunting down chink souls. Darn. Damn. That's the coldest line I ever heard in my life. <laughs> Business must be slow in heaven. A damn son. Tight. You have to get out of Chinatown for a few days and breathe in some fresh air. Fresh air? We're riding in a box with a bunch of hairy ducks. Feng Song Ha. All day, whole five, we joy fun, holy da da sa sa There it is. I'll take the blood and shit over Grass Valley, Nevada. It wasn't so bad. It was a dusty shit bowl. The food was shit, the beds were shit, the whores were shit. I didn't stop you. Fuck you. <laughs> what else was there to do? Still can't believe Father Jean sent us out here just to drag home a damn corpse. He considers it a sacred duty, though transport a dead relative back to China. It's fucking coolie work. There's a war going on, and we're out here with these duck fuckers. Neither of you boys speak any English, do you? No, Padre. They don't speak English, and they definitely don't speak Jesus. Chinese are half world. That's why they had them for the railroads. Dig a tunnel real good. Damn. The people, son, just like you and me. Not like me, Padre. You can tell just by looking at them, they ain't fully evolved into civilized humans Whoa. yet. Uh oh, it's about to crack. Yep. Why are we stopping? It's just time. It's barely two o'clock. The horses are done. Never gonna make it to Moonflight before nightfall. We're gonna have to stay here till daybreak. You can't be serious. We're in the middle of nowhere. Everyone, out. Oh, sure. We got a hateful eight episode. Yeah. Don't tell me Quentin uh, uh, directed this one. <laughs> Assam Unchained. Why don't I just leave that out here? Are you kidding? Who knows what kind of animals come out at night around here? Father Jude would shit a brick. They end up eating his precious corpse. Kind of cute. They're not gonna bring that in here, are they? Well, they already did, honey. What can I get you? A whiskey, please. Don't you mean three? If he's not drinking, he can't stay. You got any beds up there? The only beds here come with the whores. Now, what good is a bed without one? Yeah, I ain't sleeping with no red skin. Damn. Hateful Eight. Shit Kurt Russell. Rock. My other girl, Sally, is already upstairs with the customer. Sally, yeah. If Jonah Hex show up. <laughs> All the heroes of the West pop up. That's a one six son of a gun. <laughs> <laughs> I love the intros, man. Man. man as your coach, you're starting to, he's jumping in a lot of projects now. He's uh, joining a season three of uh, Gangs of London, too. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. We got to get on that, man. Yeah. This is great storytelling, man. This could have been a movie series. No doubt, yeah. It really could have. It could have been, yeah. Either or, it would have worked. 
and the way it's written and how the characters are developing and how they go back in time. Mm-hmm. You do spin off many movies or what whatnot. Mm-hmm. Like the last episode, I wanna I wanna see a story about that guy. Oh, the Mortal Kombat Legacy director. Okay. All right. So you know you're finna get some fire, right? Yeah. What series was that? It's only been five minutes. <laughs> Tension's already high. 32 might want some real food. No more get tired. Stop for it. Drunken chicken. Nice. Wow. Thank you. Mmm. Good. I marinated my own rice wine. You got rice wine? Homesick? Yeah. Oh, it mm-hmm. gets cold here in the winter. White devil's never. I'll get you some. Thank you. Hey. hey. I like that. Your accent. Where are you from? Yube. Yube? I'm from Foshan. Foshan, huh? Well, we're practically neighbors. My father used to have a farm at the base of Dingu Mountain. We used to climb up to the waterfalls there. I'll be right back with that wine. He never experienced Dingu Mountain, right. huh? Something bothering you? Do you know I've never been to China? I just never really thought about it. I'm a Chinaman who's never been to China. I was born in San Francisco, but I'm sure no fucking American. I don't belong anywhere. You're as Chinese as I am. No, I'm just another onion taking up space. Goddamn, work me up an appetite. <laughs> <Ugh>. <laughs> Hey, what do y'all have for food around here? Ham and beans sounds good to me. <laughs> ham and beans. <laughs> ham and beans. Now, what are you yellow fellas eating? More liquor. And what are you doing with those damn sticks? Nobody ever teach you any table manners? Damn. You got tables in China? Or do y'all just eat off the floor like dogs? Oh, you want them lake, right? There's a limit. <laughs> There's a limit. You got something you want to say, yellow fuck? Easy, boys, easy. We've all had a rough trip. Why didn't you let me buy you a drink? I didn't know priests could drink. It's the one voice they let us have. Well, I'm not going to argue with a man of God. Excellent. He already knew. Give us some of the good stuff. He said, that finger up. I know, I know. <laughs> he going to hurt him. Yeah. Yes? He made a friend. Hey, big brother. What do you need? Something wrong. We almost never get any Chinese in here. It's been a while since I heard some white bastard talk down to us. It's throwing him right the fuck out of here. You don't come to my place and talk that kind of shit. Your place? Aren't you the cook? I am the cook. But I also built it. Cut mm. down, planed every piece of wood you see. How does a guy from Ube end up owning a saloon in Nevada? I've done it all. Damn. Ten years on the railroad, laying down track, growing food for them. Wow. After that, five years of squeezing gold out of a mining claim the duck said was dry. I quit, <clears throat> and I came here when they wouldn't give me the going rate for my goal. Twice to work for half the pay? I couldn't live with that anymore. That's his wife. Like you and her. That little lady right there, she is my gold mountain. And he got a white mountain. Yeah. <laughs> That's America, little brother. <laughs> Plenty of opportunity. Hey, you got a reward, though. But he put his life into this, so I felt he feels like, I respect that. Yeah. <laughs> Walk down, holding hands. Caught one. I think I'm in love. <laughs> yep, there it is. <laughs> She's an Indian, you're Chinese, you can't even talk to her. I know, it's perfect. We understand each other, you know? She's like me, a stranger in her own land. I'm gonna go get us a drink. Three whiskey, please. Don't stand next to me, you fucking worm. You're like the red skin, huh? Fuck off. Fuck off. You know, I hear you can ride these red ones real hard. I'm not usually up for the squaws, since you took the trouble to warm her up. Well, I may as well give her a shot. Come on, Red. Now that the yellow fella got you warmed up, you can get fucked by a real man. You got yourself a little crush, do you? Damn. Your little yellow dick. Like some red pussy. Good day, everyone. No need to stand. Thank you. Just I don't keep know your what seats. the hell is gonna go down. <laughs> Yo, I apologize that you all had to see that little bit of gruesomeness, but <laughs> I did it for two reasons. First, the man had his gun drawn, which is something I just can't tolerate in my line of work. Second, I thought he would make an effective example, a deterrent, if you will, against any interference. And now, having established that to turn, we can carry on with the business at hand. In a perfect world, y'all would have just left your valuables in the stagecoach. But seeing as how you're savvy travelers, you know better than to leave your belongings unattended. Uh, we're gonna have to take a more direct approach. I'd very much appreciate it if you would all just take a minute to remove any and all valuables from your bags, and we'll just lighten your load. Dang. Be on our way. All right then, boys. Let's get on with it. Gonna have a sh- uh, showdown. You just turn into Tube Stone? No, I'll say for Yeah, okay, yeah. 
You have a chance to look out back at the stables. I've seen a couple of nags. Decent enough, Tech. Get rid of nags as you go. You got it. You're with them. You bastard. Well, the regular driver was indisposed. That's why you got a lot for me, darling. Also, you lied about the horses. It's been a while, Billy. Yeah, not long enough. You were always tougher than most of the men. Smarter, too. Smart enough to know I'll shoot you dead before you ever get that old Betsy out from behind the bar. Let's see it, shall we? Nice and slow. Damn, she was ready to blast his ass to the past. Man, I like the dude, uh, Billy the Kid. She a cold. I had a girl. All right, then. I'll just need you two gentlemen to bring that coffin out for me. The box. Outside. No. Excuse me? Please. It's... Sacrilege. What do you want a corpse for? Let them keep the- oh, damn. Thank you, father. Yeah, he nice. Yeah. Tombstone, they would've shot him. Cost him. Yeah. Outside. Mm. Now. Fuck. Your. Mother. Kill him. Woo, we been have a yeah. stand up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. These damn Chinese could have gotten us all killed. They were defending themselves. It's more than any other rest of you can say. They weren't defending themselves. They were protecting that. What the hell is in there that was worth risking all of our lives? They blame them. Yeah. Good for la minya, mat ye. This doesn't make any sense. What could they possibly want with a dead coolie? Oh, sweet Jesus. Hey, My God. They're gold smugglers. I don't believe it. We were all robbed because of a couple of damn Chinese smugglers. He'll be back. What? What are you talking about? Harlan. He'll be coming back tonight. These men are dead. I just got plenty more where they came from. He's after that gold. And he's not gonna let it go. Especially now. So you know this Harlem? We both grew up around these parts. He and his crew have been wanted for robbery and murder in Carson City ever since the train robbery a few years back. Doesn't usually operate so close to his base. Well, I guess all that gold was a good enough reason. If he comes back, we just give it to him. That's not gonna work. We killed his men. We didn't kill anybody. It was these damn coolies. Let him take it up with them. You don't know Harlan French. You saw the way he killed that cowboy. He didn't give it a second thought. We're leaving right now. We'll ride to the next town. And what? Harlan cut loose his men's horses when he left. Then we'll walk. It's 30 miles through the desert to Mooney Flat. You won't make it. We'll leave the gold here for them to find him, and we'll hide out in the desert. There's nowhere to hide. Look, you don't understand. This is his territory. And he knows every inch of it. We're gonna have to fight. We can't fight a bunch of outlaws. The father is right. We may not be able to survive a night out there, but we can take our chances in a few hours. We leave the gold here for them, and we find a place to hide until they've come and gone. That would be a great plan, if it were your gold. But it's not. So it isn't. You lay lonely. <laughs> Lord, have mercy. You speak English. We're not leaving the gold. Yeah, Listen, that gold is the reason we're in this mess. And it's our way out. As far as I'm concerned, there's nothing left to discuss. I guess it's settled then. Damn right it's settled. So all you gotta do is come over here and take it from me. <laughs> there it is. You got a plan? I do. 
plan is we get the fuck out of here. No, no, no way. She said it's 30 miles to Mooney Flat. I'd rather take my chances out there than spend any more time with these whining ducks. You with me? I'm with you. You can't just leave us. If Harlan shows up here and you're gone, he'll kill us all. You can leave. Same as us. I already told you there's nowhere to go. Ah. Then I guess it'd be a short trip for all of us. Hold on, my fun. If you're a real man, you'd stay and fight. Put down the gun. You think he can pull that trigger before I pull mine? I don't care. I gave everything I had to this place. This is my home. This is where I'll die sooner or later. You'll die tonight. At least I got something and someone to die for. Hmm. His dad set him up, man. They didn't even know. Yeah. All too stressed. Ooh. Mutual respect. I, I understand. Because he know everybody was set up. Yeah. His dad set them up. Yeah. And they got brought into the mix of it. Like you said, it's probably a lesson in this. Mm-hmm. Anything? He like, you can speak English? The hell? What are you gonna tell me? It's a long story. You should go. Huh? Take the call back to Father Jim. This isn't your fight. It's not yours either. Kinda of feels like it is. Not gonna lie. I thought about leaving. You're still here? Well, like I told you before, I don't belong anywhere. Other than Father June, I have no family. But if I had a brother, I'd like to think that I'm the kind of brother who'd stay and scrap with him. Powerful. You get me? I get you. But if we're brothers, you're gonna tell me how you can talk like a duck. <laughs> My grandfather was American. <laughs> no shit. You're a half duck? A quarter. Maybe you could keep that between us? That won't be a problem, since we're probably gonna die here. Yeah, I guess so. Damn. It's kind of hoping you say something a little bit more optimistic. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. At least my father will feel guilty for getting his dice over this shit. So, you know, there's that. You believe that? True love, huh? That would never happen in San Francisco. Okay, if I want to die tonight, All right. then I got some business to take care of. I thought you did that already. Have you met me? You. Sight. Yep. Father, I think it might see fit to bless this little enterprise of ours. How the hell we get a hateful eight episode? Amazing. Crazy. May the devil cut the fucking toes off our fucking foes. So that we may know them by their limping. You, the welcoming committee. Everyone else is upstairs, I guess. Come out, come out. Wherever you are. Not to put too fine a point on it, but unless you all come out right now, I'm gonna paint the wall with this Chinese fella's brains. I don't care what kind of circus kicks you can do. I haven't met a man who can dodge a shotgun blast point blank to the face. You want to get your head blown off? Not particularly, no. I had a feeling you understood me. <laughs> I could see it in those slanty little eyes. Seeing as how you're so smart, I take it you've done the math here. There's no way out of this for you, except maybe through my good grace. Get up. Just kill him already, Harlan. Easy there, Lamb. Clearly, our quick return has been anticipated. My guess is this one and his buddy already hit that goal real good by now. But you're gonna take me right to it. Aren't you, friend? Absolutely. Good boy. Just as soon as you let the rest of us ride off in some of your horses, hmm? Nah, I could agree to that. But we both know that would be a lie, wouldn't it? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> then why even ask? Uh, this is a negotiation. That was my opening bid. <laughs> <laughs> negotiation. Nice. 
Uh, you hear that, boy? <laughs> this is no fucking negotiation. See, in order to negotiate, you need to have yourself some leverage. But I do. Yeah? What's that? If you leave now, I won't kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, did he hit him with the tiger claw? Yes, he took Adam's apple out or something. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh snap. Oh, he actually tried to. Got oh, him. got him. Got him, got him you sucker. <laughs> Secrets. Hey. Wow, wow. Oh. That's, a That's a big, big boy dope. right there. Yeah. Oh. Big Preacher. The preacher, <laughs> always. Blessed him. <laughs> Epic. Oh man, uh, tear my eyes. That was beautiful. That was that was a showdown. I like that. Man. You sure you don't want to wait for the next coach? Unless two coaches are coming, I think it's better this way. You saved their lives. It was yesterday. Today they're white and we're yellow again. Mm. Sorry about the mess. That's fine. We've already sent word to the marshals. We'll be able to collect awards and Harlan and oh, some yeah. of his men. Oh, Bounties. Woo! Bounties. Yeah. fixed up real really nice. Good. They, came up. they cleaned up. They can remodel and everything. And these are real good horses. They'll get you to Mooney Flat, no problem. You can hire your own coach from there. And they some acquaintances. Get back safely. And when you do, I hope you find something worth fighting for. Did he get off of Mulan? Yeah. <laughs> they asked you to come back and visit us again, but... I'm not sure I'd mean that. Cover your heads. About an hour, that sun's gonna be spitting heat down on you. <laughs> there we go. Oh, man. Little things. <laughs> he gonna come back for her. Of course. Because he's got something to fight for, too, but he also can share it with her now. Yeah. Because remember, he's trying to come up, too. And I got goosebumps, man. Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> right? They, they found common ground, though. Great. Oh, that's... Yo, that's dope. What? <laughs> oh, shoot. That gave me Even goosebumps. with the end credits? Oh, my God. They did not have to go that hard. Oh, my God. <laughs> Riding in the sunset. Wow. Or the sunrise. Yep. Tight. Man, very uh, very strong episode. Got a lot of breakdown. You know, just more of like a, a outsider on the landscapes kind of episode. Like, they were just drifting. Got caught by opposite sides. So. We got a homage to Spaghetti Westerns, which was cool. They uh, they found some new uh, comrades, you know, made some friends, allies, if you will. Mm -hmm. But now they got they got protection help when they do come back, if they come across them again. So that's great. Man. Assam's home, uh, homeboy found some love, you know what I'm saying? So they all got an equal common ground now. It's like, what are they going to do with that? Like, is there, you know, significant other going to be down for the cause like are they gonna you know well they got a war man but... yeah so they'll, they'll they'll adapt i guess man uh dope episode man I, I, yeah this is this is what cinema is all about this oh what, yeah this is what watching programming is all about it's all over it's... at the end of the day it's like yo <laughs> this this hits yeah. home run one location story revolved around it completed mission yeah and the crazy thing is the brothers because i'm calling them brothers now they're brothers and Low key lost respect for his father because his father put him in danger. Yeah, over some gold. Yep, and and didn't tell him. And then it was a whole it was a whole setup. It was the whole scenario of it, how it how it all ran. And so of course, 
I'm already sold, man. Uh, this is probably one of the best shows I've seen in a very long time. Episode five, man. I I can't see the show going nowhere but up. Facts. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. There's no other way to go but up. Like, you you literally unraveled the wild wild west. Uh, me and Ronan, we both grew up watching westerns. We still watch them to this day. Yeah. So when you see the way this this show it revolves around the the western times and and cowboys and all that stuff like that, it just it screams authentic it doesn't feel forced yeah it doesn't feel like the the you know what i mean sometimes you watch these new these new movies the accents be off the, the character That's design true. it don't it don't work like you know what i mean you have this native american young girl who works in a, who, who's a, a a brothel worker you know what i mean and then you have this this chinese man uh from san francisco who can't speak english and just watching those two individuals intertwine with one another without saying a word is beyond yeah. my belief that's a beautiful acting it kind of reminds me of the revenant you know yeah. what I mean? it, it's kind of like yo like that's that's dope you know what i mean and and watching uh them two individuals find peace within each other even though it was about to you know knock the boots yeah but the <laughs> idea is that they were they they was in love with each other i don't, I don't know it feel it felt different but very familiar and and you know just i don't know dope dope episode man i'm, yeah. I'm already ready for episode six man i can i can literally go ahead and finish watching yeah. the rest of this season <laughs> definitely uh definitely you a lot I mean? a lot of uh, cool story arcs i like how each episode focuses on a new character bringing in a new light and then you get their insight and pov again you know no good or bad guys just this is a gray area people's yeah. trying to survive so it's like man what side are you on so i like that where you just kind of like you're questioning everything. You're like, yeah. man, I don't know, but you, I understand. It's like that. Like, who you, who, what you fighting for? You yeah. Know? Um, dope, dope. You yeah. know what? But it's not about us. It's about you. Post your comments down below. Let us know what y'all thought about this episode and what uh, uh, film or uh, uh, TV show did this remind you of this uh, this particular episode? I, I'm gonna say it had the hateful eight vibe to yeah. it. Yeah, little Sisu in there. Yep, little yeah. Sisu in there yeah. with the gold and everything yeah. like that. And, yeah. and fatalities for real. Um, but uh yeah put in the comments down below let us know that and i want to know what's your favorite western in the comments down below let us know if you're new to the channel go ahead and press that subscribe button thumbs up this video don't forget to share instagram facebook twitter also follow us on instagram and twitter and if you want to watch the full length reaction check us out on patreon i'm j3 we're on the show Woo! ninja assassin road to 100,000 subscribers